So here we are again with the Moto 360, which kind of had a table to kind of rest my wrist on or whatever. But okay, so now we're going to talk about, um, no, let's not do that. Um, now again, the screen is staying on because of the program that I'm about to introduce to you, which is a Wear Mini Launcher. Now, before, if you wanted to launch an application, you have to go, okay, Google, launch flashlight. flashlight um, built into the watch which is kind of just a really bright white screen which is you know of course you're showing out blown and of course to get it away you swipe to the right to exit the app as all apps um, so how you launch Warrior Mini Launcher again you can configure how to do it I have it configured to open as a drawer from the left so it's tap and hold and you feel it vibrate oh, nope. I just tapped there tap and hold and drag across and again, you can configure the background on this, um, configure the how many different roles you have, you can hide applications, and I like this because you know it gives you a quick and easy way to launch applications. Again, I, as I showed in another video, you know, stuff that you don't really use. Audio recorder, you just tap that, and it opens the recorder application. Actually, I don't even know if I got it there. No, I didn't. Audio recorder, there we go. And then you can start record just like that. Um, and then, you know, start recording. It's recording right there. You can delete the recording. You can pause recording. You can finish. And then what you can do, even if you swipe it away, it still shows as a card. Um, still shows as a card that it's recording. And then how you do it, you basically swipe to the right. You can, you know, give different options, pause, stop. And then when you stop it, that's when you can open the app on the on the watch so continue recording you can open on the phone and then there it says recording saved you can listen to your phone or from your tablet whichever one you have it connected to and just swipe it away like that and you're done and you open your other apps like that your bubble level app which is kind of a party thingy uh, you gotta calibrate it Ugh, cancel so, and then you know, kind of gives you that thing right there. You know, depending on use of the gyroscope and the watch. Again, novelty thing. I'm actually gonna get rid of this watch face for right now because it keeps bringing up my agenda. And this is another one of my built-in watch faces. Simple, digital, simple. So anyway, we're gonna open up Wear Mini Launcher again, camera, and what this basically does, it allows you to use the camera on your phone and gives you a remote view of it. So here, I have it showing, you know, the rear view of my camera, and it's showing my camera setup right here. For those of you that are curious, this is an EOS M3 um, Canon. It's a third generation mirrorless camera, only available in Japan. If you're curious, you can, you know, drop a comment or whatever like that, and I'll make a video or, like, tell you more about it. I'm actually supposed to do a comparison video with the EOS M, M2, and M3, but that's for another time or whatever like that. And then from there, you just, you know, you can tap, tap the watch thing, tap it to so take a picture, and that's a picture right there. And you can swipe to the right, you can switch it from the rear camera to the front camera, turn the flash on and off, self-timer, pretty standard stuff, and just swipe away to kind of turn it off. Um, another application, you know, E24 or whatever, that's a standard regular Android app. Commander, I'll get into another time. Find My Phone is basically the companion app to find my watch. Um, but again, you won't need that because there's a built-in Find My Phone feature in Wear Mini Launcher. Google Fit, Flashlight, Keep. If you don't know about Google Keep, get on it. It's one of the best note-taking programs ever. Allows you to do voice notes. It does OCR, um, optical character recognition. You take a picture of like a billboard or like a typed list, and it automatically um, converts into text for you. Pretty cool. And then here, you can actually open up the Keep Notes from your phone. You can manage it from your computer as well. 
you can actually swipe through them and interact with them. You can make lists you can, that you can um, go through and um, basically, yeah, check off like, you know, like a grocery list or whatever like that. Pretty cool. Lyft, again, don't really use Lyft. Um, don't really use Lyft like that. Um, play music. Maps. Now, maps here is pretty cool. This is, again, since the Android Wear 5 update. Um, and actually uses, I believe, the GPS location from your um, from your phone to kind of give you an interactive map that you can then zoom in and zoom out of and everything like that. Gives you this little placeholder thing where you can search what's around you. It shows you what's around you and everything like that. Kind of location stuff tells you where it is and then you can tap to navigate there I'm assuming yep here you go we don't want to navigate there close that out oh it's already went through it says check phone to continue we don't want to do that um, Shazam finally Shazam you know where app where you can tag songs straight from your phone um, this is relatively new to me um, never used to be a where component um, hasn't really worked for me too well but then again, I haven't really tried it out, you know, in optimal conditions, but whatever. Um, I used to use this other program called Track ID, which was, a, you know, something that was made by Sony, which worked pretty decently. Um, Spotify controller, stay lit wear, stopwatch, blah, blah, blah. Vimo Fit, you know, that's the app that I spoke of before. And, oh, it's my battery. Welcome, watch your tutorial on your phone. No, I can watch it from my phone whenever. You can always watch the tutorial anytime on your phone. Yeah, okay. So now it, it tell it will tell you how many reps of whatever you're doing. I'll probably get into that in another video. Battery saver is off. Zillow is just basically, you know, if you're house hunting or apartment hunting, it just basically tells you on your watch. The median prices of homes around you, you know, being in Brooklyn, New York, it's pretty depressing how much gentrification has raised the prices of nearly everything. Um, where Mike is, as I explained to you in a previous video, um, track ID, widgets, blah, blah, blah. Stow card is actually pretty cool. It basically gives me rewards cards. Um, I'm going to have to put this on manual focus because this is annoying. Um, Stow card actually allows you to uh, use rewards cards and gives you the barcodes, and this actually puts it right on your watch. So here, I have, you know, different um, different stuff right here, BJ's, Blink Fitness, go to Blink Fitness, tap it, and it gives me a barcode that I can then scan at Blink Fitness. And it's actually worked really well. Um, it's pretty cool, you know, whenever I'm at like, you know, a supermarket, like, you know, CVS, or whatever, I don't have my car, I just kind of open it up on my watch. And there it is, there's the barcode. So that's pretty cool. Now, when you do that once, it gives you the actual list of apps. When you do it a second time, it gives you this kind of configuration panel that tells you top left, watch battery, top right, phone battery. And this slider controls the brightness on your watch. Much easier than you know, having to go into the menu. Um, and then it gives you sits toggles that you can configure again in the Wear Notification phone app. The top left one turns Wi-Fi on and off remotely. Um, usually that comes in handy, like let's say I'm walking somewhere and I'm listening to music via 4G, but then I, you know, it randomly connects to optimum Wi-Fi or some other public Wi-Fi network that you have to authenticate with a login or, you know, click it, sap to, you know, get into it. So it'll basically, you know, take a while to probably pause your music, whatever like that, or interrupt whatever you're downloading for that minute of time. Um, so then I just kind of turn off Wi-Fi directly from my watch. That's useful. The middle icon, you can actually control the ringer on your phone. Right now it's on ringer, you tap it, brings it to maximum ringer, tap it again, it puts it on vibrate, tap it again, it puts it on silent. The one on the right is again to find the phone feature which allows you to tap it and it'll make your phone ring out loud in case you can't find it. Here we, as long as it's connected via Bluetooth or via Wi-Fi if you have CloudSync on. And now it's the phone right there ringing when I tapped it. Bottom left is a uh, wireless hotspot. You can turn on wireless hotspot on your phone remotely. Let's say you're on your tablet or whatever other thing you want to connect to, you know, 
use your 4G on your phone, instead of having to take out your phone and enable it, you can just enable it from your watch, and this is very quick. Um, this, actually, I forgot what that does. Ah, this actually controls the volume on your phone, which is pretty cool. You can tap up and down to do it in increments, or you can drag the slider. Pretty cool for music volume. And this button right here is actually what's allowing the screen to stay on without timing out. Um, it's actually a screen lock, so you tap it now, and now it's unlocked. So now, if you leave it, um, actually, the watch screen should turn off in a couple seconds. I think as it sits, yeah. So see, it dims, and it goes off into ambient mode. And when it's on, this when it was staying on for the duration of this video. And that's Wear Mini Launcher. And Coffee now, to get into Coffee, Again, I configured it to go to the top right because I don't want to interfere with Android Wear Mini Launcher. So tap and hold the top right. If you look, oh, no. Nope. Actually, let's try that again. Top right. And there we go. So those are my three favorite people. Um, <laughs> girlfriend, mom, and dad, pretty much. Um, so let's say I want to you know, test my girlfriend. Tap that, and it gives me, you know, basic, you know, um, stuff that I can just tap and everything like that. I'm on my way, sending, I'm going to cancel it there, but you see how quick it goes and everything like that, and it just goes right through to your phone. If you don't want to send any of those, you can either do a voice, you know, speak your response like that, like regular Google, like that, or it gives you these pre-canned responses, that's what I was looking for, and these are the categories that you can, you know, use for it. Um, the heart one is kind of like lovey-dovey stuff, like, you know, I love you, I miss you, blah, 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 And then you can actually, at the top, it's quotations for statements, or you could do it, you know, over there for questions, like, you know, again, cheesy stuff, but this is the heart category. This is like, you know, you're traveling somewhere, you're on my way, leaving work, I'm leaving soon. Now, anything that's in red is basically stuff that you can tap again to configure what that last phrase or word will be. So if I just tap leaving work now, it's going to send that. But let's say if I'm leaving work soon, you see soon in red, tap that, and it gives you another, you know, kind of option to uh, amend it. So instead of saying leaving soon, you could say leaving in a few minutes, leaving around another one, one, tap that again, you know, you could tap, select whatever time, whatever like that, go back, or if, you know, that pre-canned last phrase isn't there, again, you can add a message to it. So, you know, if you have a certain kind of catchphrase that you say with, you know, a certain someone, you can add that to it, so you can easily send that from your watch by tapping instead of having to say it out loud all the time and be embarrassing. Um, location, you know, it tells you, you know, I just got here or, you know, wherever here is, home, to the place, restaurant, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's there, you know, again, you can do it in question, where are you, blah, blah, blah. Time, you know, running late, you know, or I'll be on time or I'll be there soon, working late, blah, blah, blah. Um, food, you know, a lot of people, you know, always making plans with others about meeting up for food or for dinner or whatever. Again, that could come in handy. And I love that coffee app. And when you get a text message, it actually comes in and um, then you'll be able to swipe it with it and interact with it in that same way as you were sending one from scratch. Um, and yeah, that's coffee in a nutshell. I don't get why they came up with that name, but I guess, you know, drinking coffee, checking your messages, looking at the time, blah, 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 blah. I guess that's what it's about.